And what is your heart? Is it the thing that's beating in your chest? That's an organ. What is that? Your heart. What is it? Is it like, are we talking about feelings? Like, how do I feel? Is that my heart? What am I thinking? Is that my mind or is that my heart? What is it? What is it? I'd like to introduce another word. Consciousness. My name is Sa, Sa Ngalja. I'm an artist. Sometimes I work as a director, sometimes as a writer, sometimes as an actor, or composer, or musician. Many different facets. I've been doing it since I was very, very young. My whole life, really. Health is it's something that uh, encompasses the whole being. So for example, I could tell you that I run every day. To be fit, that's, I have to be fit in order to execute my work. But it, it's also good for the mental and spiritual body as well. For me to run from point A to point B, that might take effort, it might not. But what I find important or useful is to challenge myself in the action of doing physical exercise. So when I'm trained, a lot of what I'm doing is trying to put my mind over the matter that is my body. Well, uh, my personal diet varies depending on where I am. I travel a lot, so the foods that I eat they have a lot to do with where I am, what's available. It has to do with the climate, you know, like the season, the country. You know, I take uh, vitamin and mineral supplements. Um, I also take different herbs that are good for different things. But I like to keep fruits and vegetables a part of my diet and I just listen to my body. When my body feels like it needs protein, I give it protein. But I try to always give it fruits and vegetables because antioxidants and the type of fibers that you have inside of fruits and vegetables are always useful. I think good leaders, great leaders, um, are great followers. Look into yourself and ask questions ask tough questions to yourself, to try to get to who you really are. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, if you're a leader trying to lead people in some sort of positive direction, uh, well, I think it's important for you to have some perspective on who you are and to continually ask yourself tough questions about who you are. There's going to be a lot of questions asked of you if you're a leader. There's going to be a lot of demands from you. As they say, to whom much is given, much is required. So um, I think it's good for anybody in a leadership position to take care of themselves and find ways to um, have a healthy mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> I 
as I um, uh, more consciously uh, endeavor to rely more on my intuition, you know. Yeah. To me, I, I want to exercise the muscle to make it stronger, to make it more of a reflex. You know, when you drop your, your teacup next to Bruce Lee, he doesn't think like, I want to catch that teacup before it hits the floor. He just catches it. Are you okay? You know what I mean? So I want to exercise the muscle of intuition. So, you know, the desire is to be able to reflexively just live in that space, you know?